Hello everyone. In this lecture, we will learn about the set operations on the linked list. And uh, before understanding the set operations on, on the linked list, we must understand that uh, uh, how do we do the merging of the two linear linked list. For example, let's say two linked lists are given. In the first linked list, the items are arranged in the ascending sequence 10, 20, 40, 50. And in the list 2 also, the items are arranged in the ascending sequence 5, 15, 25 and 35. So we have to merge these two linked lists to form a single linked list which has the information in the ascending sequence. Okay. So for this let's suppose that we have uh, another linked list list 3 and which is initially null. Initially null means it does not have any item from the beginning. So what we, go we are going to do, we are going to take let's say a P pointer that is there at the first node in the first linked list and a Q pointer which is there at the first node in the second linked list. Then we are going to compare the information of the P node and Q node. Okay, we are going to compare the information of the current node in the first linked list and the current node in the second linked list. Whichever information is smaller will be added in the final linked list. Okay, so in this case the information of this node is smaller, so that will be added in the final linked list. It means the list three. So in list three now has five. Okay, now. Since the information was taken from the second linked list, Q will be incremented or Q will be moved ahead to go to the next node. Then we are going to compare the information of P and Q again. This information is less, so this will be added in the final linked list. And let's see that the information 10 is inserted as the last node in the list, list 3. Okay, now after this, since the information was taken from the first linked list, so P will be coming here and then we will uh, compare the information of this node and this node. So 15 is less, so this information will be added in the final linked list at the end and Q will be coming to this node. Then this node and this node information is compared, this, this one is a smaller, so this 20 will be added in the final linked list. At the, as the last node. Okay, now we are going to compare this 25 with 40. 25 is smaller, so this is added in the final linked list. And then Q will be going to this node. And then 35 and 40 is compared. So 35 is smaller, so 35 will be added here in the final linked list. Now after adding this, as soon as we increase this Q to go to the next node, Q becomes null because the next field of this node is null. Meaning of the Q uh, becoming null means the second node has finished with the nodes, second, uh, second linked list has uh, no nodes. But in that case, first linked list may be remaining with some other nodes. Here it is that 40 and 50, the node with the information 40 and 50 are left out. So what we will do, we will take these nodes one by one and will add them to the final linked list one by one. So first I will take 40 and 40 will be inserted in the final linked list and then I will take this 50 and 50 will also be added in the final linked list <coughs> and the P will become also null. So what have we done? We have started with the P and the Q which are which are pointing at the first node of first linked list and second node of uh, sorry first node of second linked list respectively. Then we are comparing the information of P and Q node whichever is a smaller is added to the final linked list as a last node and that uh, pointer is incremented by uh, that that pointer is uh, directed to point to the next node okay so let's say this operation is merge operation and in this merge operation what is given to us is list 1 and list 2 is given fine so what we have done p equals to list 1 and q equals to list 2. Then by the time the comparisons is comparisons are possible between the p and the q nodes information we will be comparing both of these. So that is a repeated process. So that's why we are going to write while p is not null 
and q is not null if p is not null and q is not null then only we will be doing this in case p has become null it means the second node uh, may have some so, uh, so the first node first linked list has finished if q becomes null it means second node second linked list has finished so the comparison will not be possible in that case another thing we need to do is we need to take a final linked list list 3 which is initialized to null initially the final linked list will not contain any node now we are going to make a comparison so if p dot info is less than q dot info it means the information of first linked list node is less than the second linked list node so the information will be taken from the first linked list and will be added to the final linked list so have where we are inserting we are inserting that in the end so we'll be calling the insert end function so in the ins in the list 3 we are going to insert in the end what we are going to insert p dot info after this since the information was taken from the first linked list so p is directed to point to the next node p equals to p dot next this else means p dot info is not less than q dot info it means the the information of q node is, is smaller okay so if the information of q node is smaller it means the second linked list nodes the information is smaller that will be added in the final linked list so we are going to call the function insert end in the list 3 the information of second linked list node and q will be directed to point to the next node by q equals to q dot next so now by the time the comparisons are possible between p and q we will be doing this now in case the comparisons are not possible this is small q uh, in case the comparisons are not possible what we will do either p will be null in this case or q will be null so let's say p is not p has become null uh, sorry p is not null and q has become null as we have we did it in the as, as the case was there in this example so if p is not null so by the time p does not become null we will be taking its node its information and will be inserting in the final linked list so insert in in the list 3 p dot info after this p equals to p dot next so for every node which is remaining in the first linked list we will be taking them one by one and we will be adding that to the final linked list once this is uh, let, let's say uh, p has already become null it means before going to this and after exiting from this loop p has become null so if p has become null it means we will not enter in this loop because the entry condition itself has got failed in that case it may so happen that uh, the q is not null so it means second linked list has some of the nodes which are remaining so i will be adding those nodes one by one in the final linked list so while q is not null insert in the linked list 3 q dot info and q equals to q dot next okay so at a time either this loop will work or this loop will work in case q is null this loop will not work this loop will work if p is null it means this will not work and this will work okay after exiting from this uh, loop wherein the comparisons were made if the first linked list is remaining with the nodes this loop will work and this will not work if the second loop remains with some of the nodes then this will not work and this will work so at a time either of these two will work so this is the merge operation and uh, the answer linked list is the list 3 if you want to as a last statement we can return that list 3 okay so this is the merge operation on the linked list so this is the algorithm so i can write a keyword algorithm here i begin here and finally i will write an end so this is the algorithm for merge operation now having done with the uh, with the merge operation let us try to write the union operation what is there in the union 
union means let's say these two linked list are uh, considered to be the sets okay so if these are the sets let's take another example 10 20 40 and 50 and let's say the another linked list contains 5 15 20 and 40 now the answer linked list to uh, the comparison comparisons will be made like this only since we are performing the union you can see that 20 and 40 20 and 40 are there in both the linked list it means when we will be doing the union 20 and 40 will appear only once they will not be appearing twice okay so the information will be taken from this linked list also and this linked list also so commonly we we will take uh, only one information and p will also increase and q will also go to the next node p will also go to the next node after adding this 20 and q will also go to the next node okay so the final answer will be 5 10 20 sorry 5 10 15 20 40 50 this is the final answer so 20 although it is appearing in both the linked list but it will appear only once in the final linked list similar is the with the node 40 so what change we need to make here for performing this union operation for performing the union operation what you need to do let's check one by one if p dot info info is less than q dot info obviously this will be performed this more for the smaller information in the else i need to add two conditions not only one condition but two condition the first one is if q dot info is less than the p dot info obviously this will work but the third case will be if that is equal so i'm going to add a condition here if q dot info is less than p dot info if q dot info is less than p dot info this will work insert and list list 3 q dot info and q equals to q dot net otherwise otherwise means p dot info is not less than q dot info q dot info is not less than p dot info so the only case remaining is that p dot info is equal to the q dot info so if p dot info and q dot info both are equal it means i have to add only once the data item of these two nodes so how can that be done insert and in the list 3 either p dot info or q dot info but we will be shifting p and q both to point to the next node okay so this is the only condition which is added i have added in the information of the p node and the p also progresses to point to the next node and q also progresses to point to the next node so this is how the union is done the rest of the things remain same in the uh, as we did in the merge if some of the nodes are remaining in the first linked list they will be added one by one if some of the nodes remain in the second linked list they will also be added one by one in the final linked list now suppose we have to perform the intersection now what is there in the intersection intersection means only the common information is going to be there in the final linked list suppose this is the set which contains 10 20 30 and 40 the second linked list contains 5 10 15 20 and 25 let's say so the common information of these two linked lists are 10 and 20 so the final linked list will contain only 10 and 20 so how can that be done we'll do it like that only what we used to do in the merge operation or the union operation but the operations will changed operation will get changed how so if p dot info is not equal to q dot info okay let's say we are starting with e equal information if p dot info is equal to the q dot info the item will be inserted in the final linked list and both will progress suppose they are not equal so if they are not equal what we will do we'll see which which is the information which is smaller so in this case this one is a smaller 
so only q will progress so it is only about progressing the pointer we are not adding any information then we are going to compare p and q these two are equal so since these two are equal in the final linked list i will add this 10 and p will also point to this node and q will also go to the next node now p is here and q is here this information is smaller so since this information is smaller so i will progress only q they are not equal they this is the smaller so whichever is the smaller that pointer is progressed uh, uh, that that pointer will progress to point to the next node so now p in p dot info and q dot info is equal so i will add this 20 here so now p comes here and q comes here then the information of p and q compare these two this is a smaller so q is progress to point to the next node after this q becomes null okay so if q becomes null <coughs> it means the comparison is not possible and in case the comparison is not possible i cannot have any common information the common information can be found only if uh, we can compare the two nodes so hence we can stop it here itself and we can declare that this is the final linked list so how to write this operation we are going to perform the intersection of two linked list in the intersection of two linked list i have list 1 and list 2 let's say p is at list 1 q is at list 2 and we have taken as list 3 as null which is the final linked list so by the time the comparison is possible then only we will be performing the operations so while p is not null and q is not null not the comparison if p dot info is equal to q dot info it means they are equal so if they are equal their information will be added in the final link list so insert in the end of list 3 either p dot info or q dot info both will work but we will have to progress p also to point to the next node and q also to point to the next node because this is the common information and they will that will be added only once in the final link list but if not it means they are not equal so if they are not equal so whichever is the smaller information if p dot info is less than q dot info it means the first linked list node has less information then p will progress to point to the next node else q will point to the next node q will be directed to point to the next node so if they are not equal the possibility will be that either p's either the first node's information is less or second node's information uh, sorry second linked list node's information is less so whichever is smaller we are going to just direct the p or q to point to the next node just everything will remain same once this loop will finish the this while loop we are done with the intersection operation so only thing we need to do is to return this list 3 which is having the answer okay so return list 3 so these are the essential things to be written algorithm begin and end this is my convention in the different uh, books or uh, with the different things you can find out the different items now let us write the uh, difference operation for example i have to perform a difference b so a difference b means uh, this is the linked list which is having some information let's say 10 20 30 and 40 the second linked list also has some information this list has 5 this list has 15 this list has 20 and this list has 30 also now the difference operation says that if you are performing this let's say this is a linked list and this is b linked list difference operation says that uh, if there is anything in the common that will not be added for example the information of uh, let's say this is uh, 15 is 20 is the common common information 
So while doing the A difference piece, B this 20 will not be added in the final set of A difference B. Every item of A will be added except that which is common with B. The answer linked list will be 10 and 40 only. So how we will find that? Let's see. Let's say P is here and Q is here. Now compare the information of these two P and Q. So if this is a smaller Let's progress this point Q to point to the next node. Now compare. Okay. So in this case, information of P node is smaller. So if it is smaller, it will be added in the final link list. So the information of first link list will be added because we are performing a difference B. So a difference B means everything which is common with B will not be added in a difference B. Otherwise, every element of A will be added in the final link list. So 10 is added. So now 10 is added. So we are going to increment this. Now Q is smaller. So Q will only progress. It will not be added. Now these two informations are common. So since these two informations are common, I will progress this P and Q both because this information will not be added in the final link list. Now these two informations are also common. So this will be pointing to the next node and this will be pointing to the next node, which is null. Now, since Q has become null, the comparison is not possible. So every element of A which is left out, they will be added in the final link list one by one. And this is the answer link list. Okay. So for performing A difference P, let's say A difference B is the operation in which A and B are the link list given to us. Let's say P is pointing at A and Q is pointing at B. Okay. And now list three has been set to null and then the comparison. So while P is not equal to null and Q is not equal to null, we'll be doing this operation, the comparisons. So in this comparison, First check which is the information which is smaller. So if P dot info is equal to Q dot info. So if the P dot info is uh, equal to P dot Q dot info, it means certainly these if this information will not be added in the final link list. So what we need to do, we just need to progress this P to point to the next node and Q also to point to the next node. Okay, now after this, if P is not equal to Q node, so either P's information is smaller or Q's, Q's information is smaller. So let's check if P dot info is less than Q dot info. So the, the information of first link list is uh, smaller. So that will be added in the final link list. So insert and in the final link list, the information of P node and hence the P will be progressed to point to the next node. The else of this means information of P is not a smaller. In fact, information of Q is a smaller. So if information of Q is a smaller, we do not need to add that to the final list link list because that is the node from the second link list. So only the Q will be incremented to point to the next node. Okay. So once this while loop will finish, it means either P has become null or Q has become null. So if Q has become null, we have a responsibility of adding every node which is remaining there in the first link list in the final link list one by one. We are not concerned with the second link list, we are only concerned with the first link list. So while P is not equal to null, what we need to do, we need to insert in the list 3 p dot info and p equals to p dot next after this we are done with uh, everything so we will return list 3 which is the final link list okay now what if we have to do the B difference eh? 
if you are doing the B difference A, in that case, the information of only second linked list has to be added, but that information which is common to the first linked list will not be added. If you are performing the B difference A on these two uh, sets, what will be the answer? 5 and 15 will be answer. So we just need to change the conditions here. Everything else will be fine. Okay, so I leave that with you to perform the B difference. Thank you.